Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to these fabulous musicians up here. Let me get my breath back. <laughs> On drums, we have the amazing, oh, he's been playing for the last five years with none other than Blossom Deary. And uh, they've been having a great run at Danny's. David Silliman. And on bass, somebody that has been with me for such a long time, I am so proud of him. He is as great a person as he is bass player, uh, and that's why I keep him in the family, Marco Bram. And a dear, dear, dear friend to me. Puts up with all of the craziness of a singer. <laughs> She's amazing. Tracy Stark. You know, I probably don't have to tell you, that was written by Cole Porter in 1934, first recorded by Artie Shore, a little bit of a different arrangement, I'm sure. And uh, first, uh, you know, a dance was, was created to that by Eleanor Powell and Fred Astaire. You know? And, uh, you know, those songs are great, and um, some of the newer songs are great. I grew up, I don't want to date myself, but the 70s, you know, and, and some, really, some really interesting stuff came out of the 70s. One thing that I remember is my parents loving this next song. And you know, the interesting thing about growing, I don't want to say growing older, but growing up, is that, you know, when you're younger, you make fun of everything about your parents, from the way they dress, to their hair, to the music they listen to. And then one day you look in the mirror, and you have turned in to your parents. <laughs> and you say, my God, when did this happen? But um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Thank you. And um, Brooklyn, you know, a lot of the people from Brooklyn, a lot of drama attached to Brooklyn, right? Susan Haywood, Barbara Stanwyck, Danny Kaye, Barbara Streisand, a lot of drama, you know? It's like a divine birthright to be, a, to be dramatic when you're from Brooklyn, I think. Um, and this next song, as I said, is from the 70s. It's on my upcoming CD. Uh, ironically, as dramatic as it may be, it was written by somebody from England by the name of Gilbert O'Sullivan. And this is our treatment of that song. In a little while from now, if I'm not feeling any less sour, I promise myself to treat myself and visit a nearby tower and climbing to the top I'd throw myself right off in an effort to make it clear to whoever what it's like when you're shattered left standing at a church where people are saying, my God, that's tough. She stood him up. No point in us remaining. May as well go home. Cause I did on my own alone again. Naturally. That only yesterday I was cheerful, bright and gay Looking forward to who wouldn't do the role I was about to play But as if to knock me down Reality came around And without so much as a mere touch Broke me into little pieces Leaving me to doubt Talk about God and His mercy Oh, if He really does exist Why did He desert me In my hour of need I truly am indeed alone again Naturally. 
It seems to me that there are more hearts left in the world that can't be mended, left unattended. What do we do? What do we do? Looking back all the years at whatever else that appears, I remember I cried when my father died, never thinking I'd cry those tears. Then at 65 years old, my mother, God rest her soul, she couldn't understand why the only she had ever loved, had been taken, leaving her to start with a heart so badly broken. Despite encouragement from me, no words were ever spoken. When she passed away, I cried and cried all day. 